The spring test realm is here, and we've got a, a lot of new updates that they are pushing into this test realm. A lot of ones that are surprising. I didn't even think that we would end up seeing, um, but here they are. So I'm going to go over some of them in the crown shop, but I'm going to leave a lot of them for other videos because for this one, I want to focus on one thing that they added that so many people have been asking for. When people do videos saying, oh, what Wizard 101 should add or what we should have added into the game and what should have been in the game since the beginning. Um, one of those things is the seventh character slot. People have been asking for that for so long. And in this test room right now, it is available. But there is one thing that I feel like people are not going to like about it. And uh, we're going to look at that really quick. So here we go. Here's the crown shop. You get 50,000 crowns in this test realm. And all the new stuff they've put under gameplay everything way at the bottom here. So um, here it is. It's at the bottom left if you guys can see it. Additional character slot. Elixir. It just looks like another normal elixir. I don't know. Maybe they'll change it. Maybe they'll just leave it like this. But it is, of course, 18,000 crowns. And uh, that makes it the second most expensive elixir ever in the entire crown shop. And I'm a little disappointed in that price because I was thinking like maybe 10,000 would be okay for this kind of thing back when I would talk about it. I don't know if I actually mentioned like a price of what I thought, but I feel like 10,000 would be like reasonable, but 18,000 for that is uh man that's crazy and like you know that there's a lot of expensive things in the crown shop that they've added when they give you fifty thousand crowns because when they released the um level 50 elixir they also gave you a lot of crowns because that was thirty thousand crowns right there and kind of the same thing here just to get an additional character slot you know it doesn't level up your character or anything you start at you know level one but you just have the space for it so we're gonna buy it on this because well it's just test realm i don't know if i'll ever buy this elixir for eighteen thousand crowns on live realm i'm sure some people will but i don't i don't really have a need for it it's so expensive that you know even with the best deal well i guess i can't really say that but what i consider the best deal is the sixty thousand crowns for sixty dollars this would be eighteen dollars if you buy any of the lesser deals, then it's more than $18. It's probably like 20 plus. I don't know what it would be if you bought the... Well, if you bought the 80 for 80, it would also be um, $18. But still, it's about that. It's like $18 at its best and 20 plus dollars if you buy other sales. So we're buying it. Additional character slot. Boom. Purchase. Give me it. I want it. Maximum number. Well, we don't get eight. People, are people making videos? Or are we getting eight character slots? Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and log out and uh, see this. So, should have seven. I should be able to create a character. I don't know where they put the, the new one. Where they put it. I guess we should just create and see. So, new character. Aha! The spell is working. Yeah, it's, it's worked before too. Look. Okay, yep, we are gonna skip. Answer these questions. To we are gonna skip the test. We're gonna make a myth. Because, you know, why not, right? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do we're gonna do some random. We are gonna randomize. I don't really care. That looks alright. And uh we're gonna random this too. What do you wear? What's the that's pretty good. Maybe shoes a little bit to fit the uh the weird thing that we have going on. Kind of yellowish, orange. Let's do orange. I would never do an actual orange, like, <laughs> wizard, or looking wizard. Orange and purple. That's great. Yeah, do it. All right, then. What is your All name? All right, the name, we're not doing ma random, because I have a name in mind that we got to bring back. If you guys remember this, then, uh, you know, <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching those videos. But we're bringing back Malvin for now. He lives on in this video. On Testrum. He lives on in Testrum. Wait, I passed it. He lives on in Testrum only. Where is he? Melvin! <gasps> Wait, where's Melvin? Oh, are you kidding me? What? 
they put it in his own <laughs> Melvin, I'm so sorry. They put you in your own classroom. They don't even add you next to all the other people in this classroom. You have your own classroom, which means the seventh character slot, if you buy that, you have to click a tab just to go all the way over here to your last character, and he's the only one there. <laughs> that is, uh, that's pretty funny. I didn't expect that. Okay. Wow. And that's the last one I can make, even though they could add 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. I mean, they could go. They could go pretty far with this if they wanted to. Now that they have another classroom for you, they could just add way more. Like, oh, you want to buy it? Like, I could see them adding later. Oh, you now have the ability to buy the seventh character slot or the next additional character slot potion again. And then you could get eight, nine, ten. I mean, for 18,000 crowns, anything could happen. Anything could happen if you're willing to pay that much. So, yeah, this really brings up the, uh, the idea that they could allow you to buy way more and fill up this classroom, have six plus six, 12 characters total. Wow. That would be, uh, well, that would be crazy. Know. Skip the tutorial. Yes, we're skipping that. We are skipping that. Can I leave? Please come <laughs> speak with me. Before you Please leave. come Welcome. speak to me. Okay. So yeah, Malvin's back. <laughs> kind of. He's back on test room. Don't, don't even do it, dude. Don't even do it. Don't even speak. All right, cool. So yeah. That is the seventh character slot. It works. It gives you a whole nother classroom for that, which is, you know, interesting. But I guess that just leaves the question open. Like, are we going to get the ability to purchase it multiple times later on? Because that seems very likely. So let's go over some of the other things in the crown shop before, because I don't think I'm going to cover that in another video. So here is all the things that they added into the crown shop. Um, it starts right here. So the gallop. We have some new emotes slash dances that are crown shop only. If you remember, members get their own dances and those kind of things. Now we have it so that you can just buy it with crowns. And you will only have this if you buy it. So this is new. We got the gallop right there. And we got Elaine. Which is, uh, I don't really know what's going on with that dance. Honestly, but you know that exists and you can now do that. So interesting other thing uh, Chicka Bam is uh, a Teleport Look thing. I don't know. We're gonna buy it. Should we just buy all these? Should I buy this? Bear crowns all right, We're gonna buy all these because you know, we love spending crowns that aren't mine So those are new I guess we could quickly check that what there's a lot of people here Malvin needs his space, okay? He's gonna do his dance for the first time. So it should just be under emotes dances. Oh, so member emotes. Yeah, I'm not a member. Well, Malvin, am I? I guess I'm. Oh, no, no, no. I'm actually not a member because I, I bought crowns for this. I'm um, not a member, so we have those if you are uh, yeah, if you are a member. Uh, we need to go to premium. Elaine. There you go. You can you can do that. Yep, you can you can whip. I, it, kind of. He. Oh my god, look at his leg. Look at look what he like raised his leg. Oh man! Look at this extension of the leg. Dang! <laughs> okay, and then we got the uh we got the uh what we got the gallop, yep. We got the gallop, dude. Dang, that was that's totally worth 3,500 crowns right there, man. Malvin, was that worth 3,500 crowns? I bet it was. Okay. And then other thing is we can we can mark and then we can teleport to the commons, and it should be that weird teleport. Right? Oh no, I didn't equip it. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, Malvin. We need to equip this. How do you even equip it? Um, it doesn't automatically put it on. I think it is under one of these. Teleport effect. Chicka bam. Let's do it again. No auto equip. I need eight seconds. Give me more mana because we're running out. So yeah, those are like the new cosmetic things that they're adding into the crown shop in this test realm. Oh, it makes a little chicken sound. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. I'd rather have that than the dance, to be honest. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. So they're probably going to add more of those in the future, right? More teleport effects so that you can teleport and look cooler than your friends. That's that's the thing. 
Uh, also, we've got some treasure card stuff. This is so you can display cards on the wall. Pretty expensive, 5,000 crowns for that, but it must give you like a bunch of these treasure card items that you can put on your wall. I might look, that, look at that in a future video. I don't know. We'll see. But here's just a single one. This is like buying a whole bunch for 5,000 crowns. But yeah, you can display your treasure cards uh, on the wall in your house, which honestly could be pretty cool for people that have like rare ones. You know, put some elucidates up there, that kind of thing. Uh, treasure card vault. You can store treasure cards in this vault, which I think stores a thousand or nine ninety nine, something like that. Uh, Two thousand. That's like the normal price for a vault. So that's what we got there. And uh, Khan's Dance Game is a new game that you can play in your house and play with people. Looks like it's the, the keyboard from Imperia. And that's it for the crown shop. I'm pretty sure that is everything. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. So that's everything that's new that they're adding in. But obviously the craziest one is the seventh character slot because they did it. They added in a whole new classroom. And uh, it's what people have been asking for for literally years. And now I can create Malvin on this account just because. So we are going back to this just to look at him. But yeah, Test Drum is up right now with all that stuff. I just want to do this video to look at the... They put... They kicked out Blaze Stormhammer and put him in this room? Are you serious? I thought Malvin was supposed to be over here. What if I switch? Does it move them? Malvin took this spot? Why? Why did he take the spot of Blaze Stormhammer? It should go Blaze Lifehammer, Blaze Firehammer, Blaze Stormhammer. That should be the order. But Malvin took the spot. Wow. That's weird that he kind of shuffled them around. Yeah, he's over here now. Okay. I guess Malvin's just coming in. But yeah, that's what they added into the crowd shop. I will be doing videos checking out the, uh, the streets next. I think we're going to start with Triton Avenue. That should be exciting to run through all that and see what all the new stuff they added in to the remaster of the streets looks like. So if you guys are excited for this test round, please leave a like in this video. Let's see how many likes we can get on this first one with the seventh character slot. And uh, definitely subscribe so you know when I post other test room videos. I will make a whole playlist so you can see all of it in one place. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.